Hello and welcome back to the Unbearable Reds, I'm your host Carl and today as discussed in our previous video we're going to be looking at left back reinforcements in the shape of German wing back Philipp Max. First of all we are still a growing channel so any support that you can give us is greatly appreciated so if you are enjoying our content please like our video, please subscribe, please let your friends know and also we are expanded onto our social media platforms now we have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, we are also going to be getting involved in Twitch so they're going to be linked in the description down below so if you can follow us on there as well that would be greatly appreciated. Right so as discussed in the previous video in order to take this Liverpool team to the next level we are going to need more quality in depth and that's purely because I feel that our lack of quality doesn't lie in the first 11. We have the best starting 11 in the world, it's just the players that we have as backups coming in to rotate just aren't on the same level and I think that's something we need to address and I think a key area that we should be looking at is left back because when it comes to the left back position we have nobody besides Andy Robertson. Alright James Milner fills in but he's nowhere near as good a left back as Andy Robertson is and in using Milner as a backup left back you are also losing depth in the midfield. So we need reinforcements at left back. Yasser Larouchi he isn't ready yet. I'm not sure he's ever going to be of sufficient quality to be a first team player or even a backup for Andy Robertson. So we need to get a player in. That player is Philip Max from Augsburg. So Philip Max, why have I picked this player? Basically, he first came to my attention in an FM series I was doing earlier in the year for my Bordeaux team and he was really good then. And bit, bit, I just want a disclaimer, nothing that I've done with this player on Football Manager holds any bearing of real life. I, I, I'm just quite sentimental when I play Football Manager and players that stand out to me and me saves and clubs that I've had good saves with, I do tend to keep following. Philip Max fell into that category. That's why I've kept up with his career. Well, I say career. That's why I've kept up with him at the tail end of last season and the current season so far so that's why i'm advocating for the liverpool signing because they have been keeping tabs on him i have been um, keeping tabs on his stats and his performances and he is somebody who i genuinely feel we should be bringing in as a backup to andy robertson and why do i think that i'm glad you asked because i am now going to tell you so here's why right so i'm going to start this by having a little look at his uh, the history of the player and his career so far he started his career his youth career at 1860 munich before jumping ship to bayern munich like every fucking player does and then um, he wasn't really cutting around the by Munich Academy and getting that opportunity so he moved to Schalke in 2014 and he got two first team appearances that season and then was instantly bought again by Karlsruhe. He played 23 times in the 14-15 season for Karlsruhe and he did enough to warrant Augsburg, sign the player and he's been there ever since. So he's been there for going to be five seasons once we finally managed to finish the current season. Also a little fact, Philip Max actually played against Liverpool for Augsburg alongside Ragnar Klavan when we played him in the Europa League in the season that we got to the final against Seville. I didn't even know who he was then, I doubt anybody else did. No one knew who Ragnar was when we bought him. So yep, that, that's a, a little bit of a link between the player and Liverpool already. Over the past week, I, I watched back a couple of Augsburg games from this season. He, he's basically like a German Andy Robertson. He's got the same play style, bomb runs down the left, whipping crosses in like every other left back. But what, what he does add to his games, like he's tenacious in defence and he's also a very hard presser like Andy Robertson. I think if we are going to be getting a left back in as somebody to, to cover and potentially rotate with Andy Robertson, you need somebody with all the same qualities. There's no point bringing in a completely different kind of left back to replace a player when what that player does in Andy Robertson is so key to how we play. You need somebody to come in who can do the same thing and that's why Philip Max is somebody who I think we should be looking at because on that level, based on that criteria, he does fit what we are looking for now obviously performances and his ability are also key in that and i'm going to go into that now because over the past few seasons he's actually in my opinion outperformed andy robertson statistically wise since signing for liverpool in 2017 andy robertson has established himself as the best left back in the premier league at least and arguably the best left back in the world you wouldn't see any arguments from me if uh, that argument was made because in my opinion he is in that time he's helped himself to 23 assists and two goals for the reds from left back but Philip Max has also pulled in good numbers, better numbers in an inferior team. In the same time frame, Philip Max has pulled in 22 assists, one less than Andy Robertson. But a key factor is he's also scored 14 goals in that same time period. So whilst he is able to contribute to the um, the, the assist numbers and contribute to getting goals for the attackers, he's also putting the ball on the back of the net himself. Which, if anybody has a criticism of Andy Robertson, is that he doesn't score enough. Which, <laughs> if you're asking a left back to be create a goal scorer defender, it's a bit much. But if he's going to go to the next level, that's what he's got to do. I mean, there are left backs that have done it in the past. Marcelo springs to mind straight away. He's a goal scorer 
scoring, creating, hard defending left back. Andy Robertson can be just as good as that. And I think Philip Max is already on the way to being just that good. He's the same age as Andy Robertson as well. Both of them are 26. So bringing a player in like Philip Max is going to be a competition for Andy Robertson. Somebody is going to push him for his place, which is so vitally important if you are going to get depth in the squad. There's no point in having depth for depth's sake. That's what we've got now. And although we are doing very well right now, we can be doing better and quality and depth is key so no depth for depth's sake have depth that keeps the quality of the squad at the same level when those players are switched around now there are some caveats to um, philip max having better numbers on paper than andy robertson first of all andy robertson is a key part of our playmaking unit but he shares that role with trent alexander arnold so the potential assists that andy robertson can get are shared between the two players because we focus our attacks down both wings rather than just the one side, which would potentially push Robertson's numbers up. And Philip Max appears to be Augsburg's main attack and outlet because most of their play goes down that left wing where he is because he is their main creator and he's contributing uh, just the same way Andy Robertson does, but he's getting more opportunity to get more assists because more of the play is going through him. This can be seen by uh, Philip Max contributing to 33% of Augsburg's goals this season compared to Andy Robertson only um, contributing 12% towards our, our goals, which I say only, we are scoring more goals than Augsburg as well. But also, uh, he isn't, so as I mentioned earlier, he isn't actually sharing those creative duties with another world class left back. And he also doesn't have world class forwards creating for themselves as well, because Mo, Mane, and um, Bobby, they'll often create between themselves. Sometimes the, the wing backs don't even come into it. So there is that factor in that as well. Also, Philip Max is a more versatile player. He can play left mid and left wing, which has probably um, gone towards contributing to his higher goal ratio because he is in more attacking positions more often he is as a, a left winger probably relied on more to score goals which is probably why those numbers are higher than Andy Robertson's 15 more goals in the same time frame does indicate that he would still be scoring more goals than Andy Robertson but maybe not as many more if he was only exclusively played as a left back as opposed to the more versatile left mid left back and left wing um, and that, that's not necessarily me trying to talk down Philip Max's numbers there because I think him being able to play left wing and left mid speaks to his versatility and potential other uses that we could have for him in a pinch in the squad and also we can't ignore the fact that Philip Max is pulling these numbers in and a much inferior team so he hasn't got world class forwards going on to the end of his crosses and his three balls as well so based on his play style being virtually identical to Andy Robertson's and his stats being comparable and arguably better in the same time frame that Andy Robertson's played for Liverpool I do think he should be top of our list of potential left backs we should be bringing in in the summer but it, it's a, a position in the squad that we're very thin for me I, I think we're the most thin at left back because if Andy Robertson goes down you're playing James Miller He's getting on, he doesn't get up and down as much as Robert does. He tries his best and no one can criticise him for that, but he's not as young as Andy Robertson. He hasn't got it in his legs anymore. And you need somebody who is able to just come in, fill Andy Robertson's role and you don't miss a beat. That's what you want. So that's why I think he should be top of our list. Now, uh, Max is valued at £15 million by transfer mark, which is relatively cheap for a player of his age and his well obvious quality i think we could get him through the door for about 20 to 25 million now just because he's valued at 15 million by transfer mark doesn't mean Augsburg would accept that that doesn't really reflect his value to their team so we would have, would have to pay a bit more than he's valued at but uh, an extra 10 million at the most isn't going to be too much of a problem for liverpool football club and i really want to double down on this point as i mentioned earlier quality and depth is the most important thing we need players that can come in rotate with our first 11 and you don't lose any quality from the starting 11. It, it's just so important to make sure that when we're in a position like we have been prior to the football being suspended because of the coronavirus where fatigue is starting to show that you can look to your bench and you know the lads that you're bringing on are of sufficient quality to be able to have that weight on their shoulders go on the pitch and play like their first team counterpart would it's so vitally important that we have that aspect to the squad because Man Man Manchester City have got it. You, you can switch their players out as much as you want and the quality doesn't drop very little, if at all. And it's just something that we haven't got. Our starting 11 is better than Man City's, but Man City's squad is better than our whole squad. And they're our main competitor and we need to make sure that we're at least 
adding quality and depth to our team. So that's why I'm going to be doing a series of videos like this over the next coming months, just to record, just to have a look at players that we could potentially bring in, just to add the quality and depth that we so dearly need. So this is my pick for left back reinforcements. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. We are also, as I mentioned earlier, expand the social media platforms. They're all going to be linked below. So if you could follow us on there, that'd be greatly appreciated and a big help. And as always, up the Reds.